know that Montgomery County, Maryland's Department of Environmental Protection offers a green business certification program? More than 80 businesses, from IT companies to organic farms, are registered, proving they are committed to a healthier environment and a sustainable future. Here's more. So the Green Business Certification Program is a voluntary recognition program for businesses that go above and beyond in terms of greening their day-to-day -day operations. We've created this umbrella program, so depending on, on the different business sector and your operations, you have a range of different standards, third-party uh, robust standards, either national or actually even international standards, from which you can choose. So if you're a restaurant, you can get certified through the Green Restaurant Association. They happen to be based in Boston. It's a nonprofit there. Or Green Seal, they happen to be based in, in DC. They both provide these checklists uh, of actions um, with a very high bar. If you're an office, you can use uh, the Department of Environmental Protection's homegrown uh, checklist, uh, which has 100 actions ranging from the type of paper you use to the type of computers you purchase to whether or not you're, you're providing transit subsidies to your employees to, to help them reduce their emissions in their commute. If you're a farm, you can choose from USDA organic uh, standard or certified naturally grown standard. That too has a checklist of actions. The Department of Environmental Protection partners with the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce in the program. And our role in that is working with them to make sure that businesses understand um, how they can participate, how they can continue to improve on their green business uh, goals, and so we provide educational programming as well as informational sessions. We help promote. So the partnership allows us to really play to our strengths. Um, you know, again, they have the expertise to really um, go in and certify a company and verify that they have uh, met the qualifiers. And then we work closely with them actually in the development of that to make sure that the requirements uh, made sense from the business perspective. The Montgomery County Executive and the County Council are enthusiastic supporters of the certification program as well. I'm really uh, proud of the Green Business Certification Program. It, uh, the county started that at my suggestion a number of years ago, really to showcase uh, and support the businesses that we have in Montgomery County who are trying to green the planet. Uh, people just don't know uh, what resources we have in Montgomery County uh, that are dedicated to making things a more environmentally efficient and more environmentally sensitive. When you're able to align your values with your operations, that's hugely important for businesses. We actually hear it all the time, and I have the great pleasure of hearing from businesses who get certified and say, we are so excited we are certified, and I'm glowing on the other end of the line. And, but that has practical implications too, because you're able to attract, particularly the next generation, millennials, uh, of the best and the brightest who want to work in, an, in a day-to-day in a -day work environment where uh, the business shares their values. Um, and it's a wonderful engagement tool. I mean, when you create a green team and a set of sustainability uh, policies and guidelines, that brings your staff together and it engenders goodwill. PM America, a business in Gaithersburg, earned the green certification and created a green team. PM America is a small business in Montgomery County, here in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And we focus on, this IT service business, and we, we focus on uh, IT security, IT project management, and IT training. When I moved from PG County to Montgomery County, I heard about this Green Set program and reach out, uh, reached out to Doug and uh, you know, he's an awesome guy and uh, he helped me uh, with all the applications and process and we got into the program. And I had a part in uh, the Green Certification Program and uh, here are a few things that we did. We initially we used to buy bulk um, bottled water for our office supplies but uh, even though we recycle them uh, they, they were a lot of plastic uh, going to the recycle centers. So now we have the central water dispenser and we buy reusable five gallon bottles. And over there we have our uh, recycling center. 
So we try to recycle the most we can. And also, upon our request, the government, this uh, building management placed a separate recycle bin in front of the building. So that's another initiative that we took. So this is one of our training rooms. We use such uh, big screen televisions which you see in every training room that we have. So instead of printing out all the training materials, we can present that on a big screen TV and uh, also for the students to take home with them, we give like small fla flash drives which are reusable. So in that, um, uh, by doing that, we try to cut down on all the printing that usually goes on in training uh, centers. Hi, I'm Sheila. I'm part of uh, PM America Green Certification Program. And I have this, all the signs for our company. We mainly concentrate how to save energy at work by remembering to turn off the computer and remembering to turn off the printer and copiers and also to turn off the tap. So we take responsibility for what we do at work and it creates an awareness to the public. And the another benefit is it saves money to our company. We are all living in a small world. This is a blue planet. As far as uh, you know, we know, as of today, this is the only planet with uh, living organisms. So we all have some responsibility and uh, we are accountable to take care of uh, the place where, where we live for our future generation. You know, I cannot speak, you know, more strongly about having it be um, aligning your, your, your culture and your, your, your company with uh, such a wonderful goal and the certification allows you to do that. Um, the certification also is a, a way of communicating that out to your customers, to your vendors, to prospects, uh, to uh, in, uh, employees you want to retain and attract. Zach Klein founded AIR Lawn Care in 2011 to reflect his environmental values. Clients include apartment complexes, neighborhood pools, and single-family homes, among others. And AIR stands for Atmosphere Improvement and Renewal, uh, and we do natural organic lawn care and sustainable landscaping in the greater D.C. area. Some of the techniques we use here at AIR include including, uh, using battery-powered equipment, uh, we also apply natural organic products to lawns and landscapes. Uh, we handle mulching a little different. Instead of using preen, uh, we use corn gluten um, as a way to suppress weeds this time of the year. And we use cardboard as a weed barrier that naturally breaks down. And then on top of that, we'll put about two inches of mulch. Yeah, so we use solar panels to offset any emissions that we generate in the business. Um, and then the, pan the batteries themselves are powering the mower, so they're using lithium-ion batteries. Benefits are that uh, we're helping with the environment, um, creating a, something better for the future. My kids, my kids as kids. Battery, no, you know, no gas, no pollution. It's just wonderful. So I went through the green certification process with Montgomery County for several reasons. Uh, the first is I wanted to make sure people in the community knew that we stood behind what we're saying we're doing. There's a lot of companies out there that will tell you they're doing things a certain way. For instance, they'll have an organic based program, which in marketing terms may seem like it's safe and environmentally friendly when it's not and you're typically using biosolids or maybe trans transition products. Uh, we use all natural organic. We like to think of ourselves as maybe like the Tesla of lawn care landscaping companies. Um, so for me, I really want to have the county be able to show that. Um, also, just another thing that lets consumers know that we do stand behind what we do. This is very easy. Uh, Doug Weisberger, as well as the others at Montgomery County Department of Environmental Protection, are very helpful. Um, all the information they provide online, and if you need any assistance, you can always give them a call. For us, it was very simple. We have a spreadsheet that we had to go through in each category, mark off what we were doing, for instance, using battery-powered mowing, not using certain mulch, not using other products, and certain techniques um, that would hit certain points and then get us certified through the uh, certification program. This is a very uh, well-educated, environmentally conscious community. And so consumers are demanding this and businesses recognize that. Thank you. Chocolates and Tomatoes is a certified organic farm that specializes in about 120 varieties of vegetables, as well as artisanal chocolates. We primarily vend at only farmer's market on Sunday mornings, 9 to 1. 
uh, right up on, on 108. But we also do a lot of work with local restaurants and we do a lot of work with Mana Food Bank. So we're proud to be one of their farmer partners. And I think we donated about 9,000 pounds last year. Well, as a farmer, I think we're really on the front line of, of all the concerns about climate change. We can actually see it every season in the crops and how they grow. This is a plum tree. It's a methylene plum. And this is actually the first year it's been in the ground. And how the growing season is extended. Or, um, and so it's just, it's something that's very much on our mind. Um, we're very aware of the environmental uh, aspect of the business. And so when Douglas reached out and, and suggested that it would be a way for us to get certified, we looked around and said, hey, these are all things we're doing already, and this is a great idea. Thank you. Well, we, we recycle all the, the wastewater that we can, the gray water. Um, so if we can't use it for potable reasons, then we're able to use it to water vegetables, um, things like that. We try to do uh, composting as much as possible. Um, we use uh, the tunnel that you're standing in right now actually helps us with soil erosion. So we, we also have um, our, our light tables in our seating area are solar powered. Uh, and then the heat we use throughout the winter is geothermal. We also use drip irrigation uh, for our watering needs. So drip irrigation is a system that allows us to put down water specifically at the plant roots. It reduces disease to the plant, but it also helps reduce the evaporation. So a typical overhead irrigation system, you'll lose 50 to 70% in just evaporation as the water flies out over the plants. The drip irrigation allows us to run it under the plastic mulch uh, and just really reduces our water use and impact. We don't use any pesticides at all. Um, really the soil is the currency of the organic farmer and so we have to build that year on year. And the best defense against pests really for us are other insects. And so we bring in beneficial insects when we need to. Uh, we try to create and build a habitat that will sustain populations of beneficial insects just from nature in general. You want to have an environmentally healthy place to work, particularly in some sectors like farming. I mean if you're eliminating pesticides then you're taking good care of your, your, your employees. You're taking good care of your customers. You're taking good care of the environment at large. So there's enormous benefits there. But also you get recognition. I mean, you're listed in the Green Business Directory. There are a number of press events uh, over the years where you get exposure. Uh, we had a great uh, bus campaign, Ride on Bus, your logo, your business logo, and, and saying, you know, follow the leader. It was the businesses just love that exposure. And we do video profiles and newsletters uh, with shout outs to all the businesses highlighting some best practices. So that exposure, sort of with the imprimatur of the county, is very valuable. Uh, the chamber, um, as a green certified business, we had to go through that process. What we dreamt up and said you should do, we did it ourselves. I was noticing those yeah. compostable spoons. Compostable, yes. yes. Yeah. And same with the cups as well. Recycle papers and the co-mingled for the bottles and cans. And then when we the leave trash. the room, we have a little thing, a light here to remind, a little sign to remind people, you know, just like when you're at home, turn off the lights when you leave the room. We've heard a lot of greenwashing and we didn't want just check the box. It had to be um, a program that a third party could come in and verify that those actions were taking place. When is your the spring festival? The first Saturday in May. Okay. Amazing mix, actually. It, it covers all sectors of the economy, really. Um, it ranges, from, I mean, we have four accounting firms. We have a law office. We have an auto dealership. We have six different farms, a nursery. We have a yoga studio. We have, a, a, I think, the primary care physicians, an orthodontist, uh, uh, IT folks, uh, consultants, communication uh, companies, uh, graphic designers. Um, cleaning companies and restaurants, which is really comforting because it suggests to us that, that all sectors, regardless of whether or not they even interface with local consumers and maybe they're more B2B or B2Federal contract, they still uh, regard uh, environmental sustainability as an important uh, value and priority. Uh, we are a green county and we have a lot of green businesses and we want to attract these businesses and we want to support them. To find out more about the Green Business Certification Program, go to mcgreenbiz.org or call Doug Weisberger at 240-777-7775.